So you can see your approach to the ship and you want to be almost on top of it. You want to nose down and we can see the ship. Now you've got several seconds to put this and you want to aim one ship length ahead. Drop the bomb at about a thousand and corkscrew out of there. And target destroyed. That's how it's done. Battle stations! Battle stations! Man is spotted, bearing 335, hot! Hello viewers and welcome. This video is going to be about bombing. My name is Thumble Gadget, and I just wanted to show you the various kinds of bomb in Carrier Command 2 and how to use them. Bombs are some of the most powerful weapons that aircraft can carry and yet they're not used very often because they're quite difficult to use as well. So what I want to do is give you a bit of a bombing tutorial so that you can have a good idea of how to go about using them because they really are effective if you know what you're doing. Bombs in Carrier Command 2 have three flavours. We have the light bomb, the medium bomb and the heavy bomb. And the only difference between these is how much damage they do. To give you an idea, they all do more damage than an infrared missile, TV missile or uh, laser missile. The light bomb probably does about half as much damage again as an IR missile, laser missile or TV missile. And the heavy bomb does about twice as much damage as the light bomb. In practical terms, what does that mean? What it means is, to kill a swordfish takes two light bombs, a medium bomb, or a heavy bomb. Whereas to kill a needlefish, any one of these bombs will do the job. I've set these bombs up on this manta, so let's go down to the hangar and have a look. So here we are on the hangar deck, taking in the ambience, and we've got the three different types of bomb. So that's light, medium and heavy. Aesthetically we have vintage nuke, finned exploder melon and the flying carrot of death. And don't let the sizes confuse you, the light bomb does considerably less damage than the heavy bomb. And of course the medium bomb is somewhere in the middle. Just a Another point, going and using bombs against ships, which we're about to do, is quite a risky business. So, as a point of doctrine, I tend to take the gimbal camera off the aircraft I'm doing that with. I expect to bring the aircraft back, but if I don't, I don't want to waste the gimbal camera. Right, let's go and drop these bombs on something. So, I'm flying an albatross with four light bombs, and there's our target. Now, in a previous video, I showed how to kill a swordfish using four IR missiles, and you need four really to guarantee the kill. With light bombs, you need two, so in theory, with an albatross, you could do two ships. Two ships better than one ship. So, turn in towards the target, make sure you have the weapon selected because that will allow you to see the targets. If you're on helm mode, you can't. Lock the target and run in at about 1700. If you go too high, you'll stall the aircraft. And if you go in too low, you don't get much time to aim the bombs. So, the best way to put the bomb exactly where you want is dive bombing. Four kilometers, the ship will fire a missile. Now I've shown a lateral dodge manoeuvre before. What I'm going to do now is a vertical dodge. So I dive and then when you see the aura, we pull back. And we want 1700 again. The best direction that the albatross can turn is vertically. Now if you turn to the map, which is tab, or have a joystick button map, so you can see your approach to the ship, and you want to be almost on top of it. Once you are, 
you want to nose down and we can see the ship. Now you've got several seconds to put this and you want to aim one ship length ahead. Drop the bomb at about a thousand and corkscrew out of there. A two axis turn is the best way to avoid the sea whiz. If you check the map, scratch one swordfish. So you see I had several seconds there to aim very precisely exactly where I wanted to put the pair of bombs. Two bombs, one swordfish. Let's do that again. So once again, target locked. Wait for him to fire the missile. You'll see it in a moment. Missile launched. Go into a dive and you can see the missile tracks towards the flight path indicator. You're looking for sort of an aura around the missile. There it is, now pull back as hard as you can. And that turn is enough to evade the missile. Now we want about 1700 meters, we want to be almost directly above the target. He's disappeared below but you can use the map to see where you are. Steep dive, this time he's going left to right. Get to about a thousand, Pickle the bomb and corkscrew. You can hear the sea whiz firing, but because I'm turning in two axes, it couldn't track me. And once again, target destroyed. Okay, this time with a manta and a three shielder. My first target is a needlefish, and needlefish are absolutely the worst because they are really, really small targets. But this one has no anti-aircraft weapons on it, so I'm going to allow myself to get very close before I drop the bomb. You can see it's underway, so aim ahead of the target. Bomb away. And target destroyed. Now we'll go for the other needlefish and the swordfish, which do have anti-aircraft weapons. So the manta can normally handle itself against multiple incoming missiles, just make sure that you never get slow. And flares also help, of course. Use the map to help get yourself above. Don't stall the aircraft. because that makes you a sitting duck for a missile and you want to dive on top of the target. This one may have sea whiz so we're aiming ahead of the target and target destroyed. Incoming missile. So this just leaves the swordfish and this one hasn't been tagged, so I'm going to have to do this one by eye. So diving on the target, aim about one ship length ahead, bomb away. And target destroyed. And now a special finale for those of you who are maniacs. A demonstration of how to bomb a swordfish from a razor bill. Okay, running in nice and high. He's just fired his missile, selecting flares, watching the missile as it gets close. Break. Missile goes for the flares. We want the ship. Bomb selected. Ship is underway.
And watch what happens as we enter Seawiz range. Turns out somebody's got a blind spot. Yep, he's turning. Bombs away. One dead swordfish. Woohoo! And with that, I'll see you guys soon.